If you want to create an account on Pionex, you can simply go down to the video description, click on the link and you will get to exactly this page right here and you will be automatically eligible for the best sign up bonus possible, which is currently up to 2,125 US dollars. Creating an account using the link from the description will give you access to all of these nice sign up bonuses that you can redeem by depositing and trading different amounts. All you then have to do is enter an email, set a password or use one of these options and then you're ready to go. Once you have created an account and you log in for the first time, the page will look like this. And the first thing, of course, I want to show you is how you can deposit crypto. It's very simple. You simply go up here to wallet, click on here. And then on the left side, you can click right here on deposit. And then you will get to this page here. You can choose the currency that you want to deposit. For example, Bitcoin, US dollar tether, whatever currency. You can also search for one right here. In my case, I'm going to choose US dollar tether. Then I can choose a network. For example, I like to use the Tron network because it has low fees. And here on the right side, you will get your individual deposit address, which you can send money to. You can copy it to a clipboard right here and then send funds to this address from another exchange or wallet or whatever. Once you have deposited money right here, within a few minutes it should arrive down here and then you have it on your account and you can do whatever you want with it. And this works like that for any other cryptocurrency as well, so you can choose whichever one you would like. If you don't have any crypto yet and you want to deposit with fiat money, for example, that also works. Um, you can do that by just going up here to buy crypto and then click on express. Then you will have here the option to choose your currency. For example, if you want to buy with Euro or US dollar tether, and then you can choose the currency that you want to receive. For example, if I use Euro, I want to buy with 500 Euro, I will get 536 US dollar tether. You cannot hold any Euro in here. You have to choose one of these cryptocurrencies, but what it does is it basically buys it right here, and then you will have that cryptocurrency right here on your account. So in my case, I'm gonna choose US dollar tether, and then you have these different payment providers down here, depending on what payment method you wanna use. For example, a normal bank transfer right here, or if you go down, you can also see some offer, Google Pay, Apple Pay, or your normal Visa or MasterCard. Um, sometimes these have a little bit higher fees, so it depends. You maybe have to check a few of these different uh, third-party services. Once you've found one that you would like, you can simply click on buy. You will be redirected to that third-party service. We have to enter your payment details. And once you have confirmed your order, within a few minutes or hours, the money should arrive in that chosen currency right here on your account on Pionex. You can always check if the money has already arrived. You can do that by simply going up here to wallet and then click on your balance and then you will see if the money has already arrived right here. You have basically two different accounts right here. Your primary account, if you deposit something, it should usually appear right here and your futures account where you can use the money right here. If you have it on here, you can use it to leverage trade with it. So if you still have it in your primary account, you can simply go up here to transfer and then choose from your primary account to your futures account, select the currency that you want. I would recommend you use US dollar tether and then you can transfer to your account right here. And um, if you don't have it in US dollar tether yet, because I would recommend you definitely use it in US dollar tether to trade with it, because then you can basically trade any cryptocurrency on the platform. You can do that by simply going up here to spot and then on convert. So if you have, for example, deposited with Bitcoin, Ethereum or any other cryptocurrency, you can choose it right here type in the amount and then you can basically convert it to US dollar tether and once you have it in US dollar tether in your account if you go back here to your futures account here is where you should have the money then you can use it to leverage trade with it all right next up let's take a look at the trading platform you can go there by simply going up here to futures and then click on futures trading you will get to this page right here i will show you everything step by step that you can see here first of all up here we can choose the trading pair so currently we have bitcoin selected but you could of course also trade any of these other different trading pairs that you want to trade down below here you have the price chart that's just a cutout from trading view so if you are familiar with trading view you have all the same features right here you can draw any lines draw something else you can measure different price moves and so on here on the right, you have the order book. So all the selling orders in the market up here and all the buying orders currently down here. And you can also see the recently happened trades in here. Down below, this is very important section. Here you can see all of your current open positions. Very important. You will see them down here. We will get into that in just a bit. And you can also see your open orders if you have some, for example, a stop loss, trading stop, whatever. And here on the right side, that's also very important. You can see your current balance that you have on your account. As I mentioned, these $76 that we currently have. And um, you can also add some more if you want to do that. And of course, here on the right side, this is where we can control our trades, where we can open our positions. Okay, next up, I want to show you how you can now open a long and a short position. Let's start off with a long position. So we have to go up here on the right side and let's go for long. So what we have to do is basically go choose first here our margin mode. I would recommend you just leave it on isolated 
And then next up, we have to choose here our leverage. You can use an up to 100x leverage. Um, in this case, I'm just going to use a 5x leverage, all right? And now I can choose between a limit and a market order. These two are basically the most important ones. If you choose a limit order, you can say, I don't want to open the position right now here at this current price, but I want to, for example, set it right here at um, 42 1500 and what i could do then is just type in this price right here and then only if the price goes down and reaches this price then the order will be executed and what i would recommend you and what i always use basically is just a market order then we are just going to enter the market right now immediately at the current market price so next up i can choose the position size i can type in any amount right here for example if i type in 200 dollars that means the position will be 200 dollars big but it will cost me i can see that down here if i open a long or a short position it will only cost me either way 40 dollars why because we are using a 5x leverage so 40 of our own capital we can see our own capital right here 40 dollars times five equals a position size of 200 dollars so that's how the calculation works of course if i type in for example 100 that means it only costs me 20 dollars because 20 times five equals um, 100 dollars of entire position size so that's how the calculation works right here. And what you can also do is use the slide controller. And these, this percentage that you can see right here is basically of our own capital. So if I put this to 100% right here, that means that I'm using here pretty much all of my own capital that I can see right here and accordingly the percentage of my own capital right here. In this case, I'm just going to put it to 100%. I'm just going to use all. So the position size will be like $360, which equals this $72 of my own capital, basically 100%. It's not always exactly because it has a round down to an even BTC number times five equals this position size. All right, next up, I can also choose a take profit or stop loss. Um, I can click on here. I could also do that later on, but I'm just going to do it right here. Then I could either type in a price directly right here or what I would also recommend you is just use an advanced setting button here and then you will get to this page and you can see a much more detailed view of what will be your take profit and stop loss. Here you have to choose between long or short. In this case, I'm gonna show you first for long position. Then I can choose between price, PL, or PL by percentage, which means I could set a certain price, for example, $50,000 at my take profit. And I will see, okay, that means a profit of $50. And that means a percentage return on invest of around 70%. I can also see all of that right here summarized down here. Um, but I can now change up any of these numbers and everything will be changed automatically. For example, I can say I want $40 of profit. That means, all right, it calculates this price for me. And that means this percentage increase. I can also change the percentage increase. For example, say I want to make 33% profit on percent profit on my own capital right here. That means $23 on my initial $70 basically and at that price. Once I've set that all up, I can do the same for stop loss. I can say, for example, I really like to use, yeah, I want to make a maximum loss of $8 and I can see everything, all the numbers and I can click on OK and it automatically pastes in right here the prices as I've set them accordingly. Then I can just open the position. I have to click on buy long right here, click on OK and then my position is opened. Now let's go through all the important elements that we can see right here. First of all, I can see it's a Bitcoin trade, a long position with an isolate market of 5x leverage. I can see the position size in Bitcoin and in US dollars. And I can see here my liquidation price, um, which means basically if I don't have a stop loss, I have one right now here, but if I wouldn't have one and let's say the price goes down in my long position and I would have this much into the negative. I can also see my liquidation price right here. So let's say it goes down to this liquidation price and I don't have my stop loss right here. Then at that liquidation price, which you can also see here, I would lose my entire margin of the $71 that I've put into this um, position. Margin basically means your own capital in this trade. Since I've uh, opened the position with 100%, it doesn't, as, as I told you, because it has a round down to the BTC number, but I'm using all of my capital. That's why only a little bit is left right here. This is the $70 that I have in this position. This is what I would lose if I wouldn't have a stop loss and this price would be reached. Of course, this doesn't really matter to me because I have a stop loss at $42 where I said I want to lose a maximum of, what was it? Let's go in here, we can edit it and I can click here on modify and I can see $8 was the maximum loss that I've set at the beginning. So that's what you can see here. You can also see very nice on the chart, the blue line where you entered the market and you can see your stop loss right here and your take profit. What's also very nice is um, you can see your PL right here unrealized. So that's 
currently my loss or profit in this case since the price has gone down a little bit since we opened the position i'm six cents in a loss and here i can see my take profit and stop loss so i can either edit them here by clicking on here and then i can for example modify i can set a different price different pnl i can set this to a different number click on ok and change that up or i could even add another take profit i could say for example um here I want to add another take profit or what I even like more is if I ju just go to close and use these two buttons for example click here drag and set and I can see what, how much profit I would make and I could say you know what here at this price I would make $10 of profit but I can now also say for example a partial position I only want to close for example 50% uh, of my position at that price which means I will take this profit and I will have a 20, 70% um, return on invest on my um, position and I can click on OK. And now, as you can see, oh, I have to move this down a little bit ah, because I said to $10, it had moved up, had to move up. But I can, for example, now set it to here, click on OK. And then you can see at this position, 25% will be closed. And at this price, the rest of the position will be closed. So you can move them around right here as you want. And um, you can have multiple take profits, multiple stop losses, where you can say only like 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, and then your last remaining bit of the position. So that's how you can do it. Of course, you can do the same for stop loss. You can also, if you drag them around, you can always see what changes, click on OK, and then you have everything switched up. Last thing I want to show you is how a trailing stop works. A very nice feature as well. You can click here on trailing stop and set a retracement distance, for example, $500. If I click on OK, now I have it set. It currently sits here. You can always see where it sits. Unfortunately, you cannot see it here in the chart, but you can always check here. Right now it's at 43,300, somewhere in here. And what happens now is if the price goes up, this trading stop will also move up and always remain right here a distance of this $500 that I've set right here. So that's very nice. So if the price goes up, my trading stop moves up too. And if the price at some point crashes down, it will stay, of course, in here. And then I will be stopped out here instead of if I would have just had this stop loss and the price would crash, I would lose everything right here. Um, my stop loss will be triggered and I would make a loss instead if I would have had a trailing stop I would even make some profit so if for example overnight you go to sleep and you cannot watch over your position this is a great method how you can change up uh, your position and um, if you're wondering you want to you can edit that at any point here but if you're wondering how you can for example cancel it you have to go here to your orders go to trading stop you can see it here and then you can click on cancel okay and then you have no trading stop anymore all right, that's how it works for long position. If you want a close position, you can simply go here to close, choose 100%, click on OK, and then you're out of the market again. And now I also want to show you how it works for a short position, pretty much just the same. I go back here, go to market order, choose the amount. Let's go for 100% again. I can choose a take profit and stop loss. I can click on advanced setting again, and then I have to make sure that I click here on short. And then I can say, okay, let's make uh, $40 of profit and $12 of loss at the stop loss. And you can see it calculates the price automatically for me. And this time, of course, the stop loss is below the current price because we're making profit if the price goes down. And my stop loss is above the current price because we are losing money if the price goes up in a short position. Okay, let's go on OK. And let's click sell short. OK. And now we have our short position open. We can see our stop loss right here. We can see our liquidation price, of course, is also now here on top because we are losing money if the price goes up. And we can see our take profit down here. So pretty much all the same, just the other way around. I can see all of my numbers here. I can also see now it's a sell position with the minus in here, um, position size generally. And I can see my profit loss again in here. Now the price has gone up a little bit. So I'm eight cents in a loss right now. And I can switch up take profit and stop loss again in here. And of course, I can also add a trading stop for my short position. If I type in, for example, $400 now of um, the distance, I can say OK. And now the trading stop sits on top of the current price at $44,200. So exactly $500 above the current price. And if the price were to move down now, this trading stop would, of course, follow the price. And if at some point the price would rise again, then we would be stopped out right here. So that's how the trading stop works for a short position. Okay, hope you got everything that you needed. I can close the position again. Very simple, click on close here or click on this little X icon right here. Choose how much I want to close 
And then I'm out of my short position again too. Don't forget to create an account on Pionex by using the link down from the video description to get the best sign up bonus possible. And as always, if you have any other questions, feel free to ask them in the comments.